So, um, three days ago, I had my first weigh-in uh, since three months ago at the doctor's office, at Alex. Um, we had a deal in the beginning so that for me to move forward, um, I asked her, I begged her not to put me on the scale because I knew it's going to uh, make me um, not, just not be able to move forward. It's going to make me just too conscious of, you know, even if I don't see the numbers, to just kind of keep losing weight and just not uh, hinder my progress. And she was, uh, she kind of took a big risk not to weigh me, uh, but we had an agreement that she's going to weigh me again um, at the end of July. I was hoping they're going to forget about it, but they obviously didn't. Um, it was not an easy experience. Uh, it's always hard for me to get on the scale and uh, to have other people's eyes on it. Um, and um, the assistant, the doctor's assistant, um, that's, there's a, a big difference, you know, people of the same profession uh, who are not specializing in eating disorders are sometimes, from my experience now, they just, um, they sometimes make mistakes. They say things that they shouldn't say. You know, it's not from like any ill intention or being mean. Um, it's just, um, just not knowing. It's, it's lack of education in this area. And, um, you know, they would say triggering things. So there's a big difference for people who train in eating disorders, they know what to say, they know what, know what not to say. And um, I got on the scale and, you know, for one, um, I, she, she just, she just couldn't, she said, okay, hang on a second, you gotta take off your shoes, you gotta take off your sweatshirt. Um, empty your pockets, get everything out, and I was like, I don't have anything in my pockets. I, I felt so ashamed. Um, I almost felt like I have to apologize, and she said, how can that be even, like, with three meals a day? You know, I gained um, a lot of weight, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm still not where I should be. I'm very much under where I um, should be, but it's still... It was very quick, and it was a lot um, in a very short period of time. But you know, it was three months ago the last time I had my weigh in, and uh, which was a hundred under a hundred pounds. And she said, even with three meals a day, how how could that happen? And I said, look, I mean, once I reached out for help, I kind of felt more freedom to. To eat, my body just wanted to, the nourishment just wanted to move forward. And whenever I felt that freedom, I just kind of um, reached out for like an entire mason jar of cashews. And you know, like not, um, uh, not anything junk, just high, very high caloric food, um, which probably my, ba my brain just needed the nourishment, the energy. Um, and so it was very fast. And while my mind is still not catching up with it, because it's only been just a few months, my body is already feeling. I just, I just can't bear it. It's intolerable. Um, I feel every ounce of it on me. Um, I feel it in my thighs and my back. And um, while it's a good thing, what I should be doing, it's just. I have a constant battle in me, um, wanting to go back and, and, and lose it. Um, and then this morning I, I went out for a run and my stumping ground, my beautiful lake that I love so much, you can see it behind me. I was thinking, um, so I gained 
wait. Um, nothing happened. I mean, the lake's still the lake, and the birds are still chirping and doing their bird thing, and the cicadas are chill, still chirping and doing their cicada things. Everything's just, you know, people are at the lake and they're laughing and they're having fun and just life moves on and life is life and I gain weight, so what? No bombs are going off anywhere. And I'm fine. I'm just fine.